Hello and welcome to the Underhive. We are back with some more Trials of the Seven Kingdoms. Uh, oh yeah, we already had that mission. I knew there was a reason not to check that, but I couldn't remember what it was. Because, of course, I've had a gap since the previous episode. So we're back up to 40 troops. Uh, we want to get, we want to try and get like 100 if we can. And then we can really start kicking off. Uh, but as it goes, I mean, I, I don't think we're in a position to join the old Stark Arenos until we're clan tier 2. I don't think they'll want us up until that point. So, just got to keep fighting the good fight. Um, if we get a few more elite infantry, I'd be willing to take on a hideout. Uh, as it stands, soldiers, warriors, infantry are probably the highest I've got. Yeah, I've got three infantry. Um, do we have any house guards yet? I don't expect we do. No. So, uh, yeah, we haven't got any top tier infantry yet, but we'll get there. What do these guys need? Draft animals. Um, what actually does that entail? I'm Bowen. I've lived all my life here, working the land as do my kin. I don't know why this guy's Welsh, to be honest. He's from Nerf. <laughs> A lot of people here in Al uh, Albat. Oh. Oh, yeah, sorry, that's right. He's phrased it backwards. A lot of people here in Albat. The common farmers and craftsmen like me, they like me to speak for them. I've heard you got a problem. We do have a problem indeed. Last winter was hard on our, on our animals. Oh yeah, what have you been doing to them animals, mate? Hmm? He looks a bit smug to me, what do you think? Um, we'd go to town to buy more, but well, the herds make a tempting target for bandits and we're not really suited to fight them. We can't afford to slaughter even the oldest and weakest of our animals because we need them to pull the plow. Maybe you can help us. We need six mules. We can offer 68 meat. Uh, I mean, I'd rather you just keep the money and I will just take your appreciation as payment. I mean, six mules, that's not... That's... Oh, right, they only had one for 155. Oh, I had, like, tons of mules already. Okay, well, I bought, I bought an extra mule. Increase the stockpile. Let's see if we can smith anything down while we're here. No big spenders. They've got a mace once doing. The old mace window. I'll do you one of them. 500, we'll take it. We're getting a level off that, though. That's juicy. So what are we doing? Last one in endurance. And we will go... Another one is scouting, I think. What's the old knuckle bones need? Fencing. I'm not a thief, nor am I a fence. We don't want to be doing any illegal activities here. Here you go, man. I've got you the animals. There you go. Yeah, cheers for the meat. Right, looters. You've met your match. Close it! Or like, I need to get more calves so that I can just send the cav in. But then I suppose we need to keep these guys getting upgraded. So, even still, we're probably not going to be using the cav overly. I just want to try and get a butchers at their armor. Yeah, they, they look very light armored, actually. Um, a lot of the armor seems to be like 20s, maybe 30 anyway. So, maybe they're not that low armor in comparison to everybody else. But they certainly don't look heavy armor. I'll give them hell! You can go in now. I don't mind them sort of breaking a few off. There we go. Took the top of his head off on the way past. That went too early there. I don't know who said what there. It sounded like he said my life is over. There we go. He's down. Any others? Okay, there's a few over here. We will we will go for them. Uh, I don't want to necessarily kill them all, but again, we still we still want more XP, and the car are still killing some, so it's worthy. From our campaigns on foot, I've kind of got sick of just fighting them over and over because it takes ages for the infantry to collide. Still going. Sorry, mate. Knocked his foot off. Okay, that'll do us. Good stuff. 
Okay. Why scroll wheel? So, I mean, we can put them straight into being Stark Horsemen, I suppose. Yeah, we're going to do that from now on. Still only one of the borrowed troops, really. I mean, there's no easy targets for them, so I don't know if I really want to be doing the borrowed troop missions anymore, because it is pretty difficult to arrange it. Mandalay's army's going in hot. So they've lost about 500 troops since we last seen them. I wonder if they took Castle Blight. Doesn't look like they did then. Oh, wait. It's owned by the Starks now. Oh. So, uh... Yeah, we previously saw that Castle Black was at war with the Starks, and now they're part of the Starks, by the looks. But this, it doesn't change who you recruit there, or at least not immediately, anyway. Let's see what they need. Army of Poachers, we will do that. So, uh, yeah, you want us to go to Meltown? That's fine, I will go to Meltown, and I will take those scumbags out. Fight the poachers. Footman so infantry will charge in shield wall. wall. And the cow well, can follow me. me. Well, keep your shields up, boys, because uh, they are all archers, after all. You know, they're quite some distance away, actually. Infantry! After me! Oh, no. Move to enemy! Uh, stand upon! Stand loose. No, stand Fall line. I. And then we'll we'll get them back into sheer wall formation once we get closer. I didn't expect them to be like 300 meters away, if I'm honest. But we're going to keep our shield up because I, I don't trust the quality of this armor here. Uh, 40s, 50s, I would start to trust it, but it's like 20s, 30s, so... Headshot will still absolutely mercilessly put us down. Um, okay, I think it's time Water for shield wall again now. Cavalry! Get the cavalry ready to give the order. Ah! Put your shields up, man. Put your shields up. Well, we've horse headbutted one, and then the tree. Not getting a great deal of speed in these parts, but that's okay. Oh, we can't, can't tell them to charge, they've broken. Um, yeah, I can't be bothered, we're just going to let them go. We killed nine of them, that's fine. Uh, ooh. We will put that on our fella. It's... Uh, for his casual attire. So they're happy with that. I don't think I have to... No, I don't have to go back and do anything. That's fine. I wonder... Can we... No, we can't actually get rid of him. Yeah, you still... I just wondered whether they'd made it so you can abuse the system like you used to be able to in previous patches, but that's fine. I uh, I don't think I'll be doing many many more train troop missions, if any. What we got here, Crush Finger Yun. Uh, he wants a uh, hideout raided. I don't think we can do that for you, mate. Let's see what we got here. Daughter found. Yeah, again, I'm not not really bothered about finding daughters, to be honest. Then again, we have got armor and a sword and a shield. So, uh, oh, manual laborers. Uh, we've only got two right now. Well. We'll have to uh, we'll have to check back in on that one, but I will go and find a daughter. Why not? I've got a horse. Yes, yes. I will go and find her. Where did she go? Where did she go? Well, they reckon Yangatum. Their direction is marked with an arrow. Okay, is that new?
It's like a bit like Witcher senses. I mean. No, that's the, yeah, that's the, that's the army that came past here. I thought that was, like, far too big. Um, let's just check that. Just visit nearby villages still. Alright, fine. Because it used to pop up with a message saying, like, they're not here, they're somewhere else. Okay, we'll walk through the lands. I mean, we can we can see them whether they're here or not anyway. Um, what is the name? Arwen, yeah, so it should, she is here. I don't like how that sits when it's on my back, but we'll just accept. Should get off my steed. Harwin. Oh, oh, right. This was the dude. Uh, scumbag. So she's not in this village then. Never mind. Uh, well, we're gonna try and get in the tournament in the Dreadfort as well. Sorry, I've uh, got confused between you and your daughter. Maisie Willowbark. Okay. There she is. With Kriegard. Well. If I have to kill you, Kriegard, I will. I'd rather sort this with words if we can, but... Maisie will be the judge of that. Who are you? Are you one of them bounty hunters sent by Arwen of Borchoga Vogoka? What a name. To track us? Like we're animals or something? Look, friend, we've done nothing wrong. And as you figured out already, this woman and I, we love each other. I didn't force her to do anything. He's right. <laughs> I ran away with him willingly. I love my father. I don't know why she's like proper, like home counties. I can't do north without doing deep. Uh, I love my father. They can be such a tyrant. Please, sir, if you believe in freedom and love, let us be. How do I know he's not forcing you to say this? Please, sir, I love him truly and wish to spend the rest of my life with him. I beg you, please don't stand in our way. But I've promised to find you, bitch. No, I'm joking. Um, and return you to your father. He will be devastated. Yeah, he'd probably be sad either way. True, 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 true. But I'm going to try. Perhaps he made those plans because he loves you. Oh, you bought that. Okay, okay. You believe he loves you. I'll buy that. Um, well... Maybe it's your duty to your family. Critical success! She believes in family duties. Brilliant. Ah, I feel like I just need to go and put my light on here. I've already got the floodlights on, but I just want to make sure that any additional light required is available. Well, you're going home, Maisie. In an ambulance, if necessary. There we go. Daughter found. Charm increased. And your lyrics. We still can't do that. So yeah, the reason it confused me, like just to clarify that I'm not a mega pleb. Obviously this village was marked, but previously it would mark several villages and you'd go to one and it'd say, the villagers say that they came through here, but they're not here. And you move on to the next one and then it pops up going, they are here. Um, because it's easy to find them by just pressing alt, I don't really mind that it doesn't do that anymore, but it's a bit of a, it's a bit of a change. So we'll go to the arena and we'll see if we can uh, increase our renown here at the Dreadfort. Oh, Blackfire Dragon Helm. I mean, as long as it's got a good neck on it, I, I might well wear that. There we go. Nice slice in to begin with. I'm going to take out the horseman so he can't do anything to our troops. Oh, cheeky, cheeky. He's only got one hit left in him, surely, there. Uh, oh, right. The red team is all but dead. Blue team is becoming a bit of a mess. 
We're a bit of a, a bit of a tyrant in the in the force. What was that? Ah, uh, yeah, I could see that coming. Like, unless unless you go at like mega speed with a with a lance, being on a horse isn't that much of an advantage in this game against the AI. Well, not on the hardest difficulty anyway. Um, he timed that badly, but when they time it well, they absolutely rinse you. Nailed him. You've got to kind of jerk them around a little bit. Ah, uh, yeah. Bolton Cav, Russell the Boar. Are you uh, recruitable? Because I've got time for Russell the boy. He looks like a, a bit like a Russell that I know. Who is, uh, is not a boy. I will say. Well, I think we've done well to win that arrangement there. We're going to get in here with the uh, one-handed axe. Oh, absolutely clobbered him. Richard the Silent has been absolutely silenced. What a dick he is, Richard. Uh, well... Yellow one's turning. Oh, what a shot! Right in the arm. Right in the arm bones. Oh, you're going down, Russell. Again. Nice. Osbert the surgeon. Well, I've surgically struck you, mate. Big time. Tournament master. So, uh. <laughs> oh, puppeteer. Well, we don't get a shield again, which is a shame. And we keep getting shot by Russell. Russell the bastard. But none of you have got the one-handed prowess of Luthor. Ben, uh, Ferrin? Yeah, Ferrin. Me and the puppeteer, sh spears at dawn. I might get wrecked here because I don't really use spears. Oh, you scumbag. Stab him in the dick. Your shaft's all bleeding now, mate. Oh, a nice little juke. Oh, and we've nailed him. Victory for the Dread Fort. Yeah, <laughs> that might not have picked that shout up very well because of the noise cancelling. It's, you know, to block out fan noise and things like that. But, um, yeah, it might not have picked up that screen very well. So apologies for that. Uh, so let's have a look here. Yeah, see, I just, I just don't like that being like that. But maybe we can get, maybe we can get some kind of collar piece let's have a look here blackfish armor well it's worse than what we've got casterly rock knight armor okay w what's gone on with his octopus arm there Yeah, this hasn't this hasn't meshed well, has it? Like the shoulders aren't where they ought to be either. Is this built for the mountain specifically? <laughs> um, I mean, it looks it looks like it might be cool, but we it doesn't fit us. So chest plate small is that okay? So it is oh okay. So that goes over that. Um, ten ten, ten zero. Again though, that I, I feel like I look like Brienne of Tarth now. I don't want that. So like it's it's like trying to get one that fits and looks alright. I mean that looks alright. Uh but that's 25 versus 25. So I mean we needn't necessarily buy that, but Lannister Knight. Plated steel. What are we saying? 25, 14, 10. I mean I like that though. I do like that. And I mean, I know it's worse, but uh, you know what? I want that one back just to see. How many armor pieces have you got? Nah, I still don't look right with that. Okay, let's get rid of that and let's keep what we've got there for the time being. Okay. Why is why is the are your cloak so expensive? Oh, it's sixteen body armor. How is how is that sixteen body armor? Just makes no sense. Is that? Ooh, that's a bit upper class, isn't it? But plenty of money, so we might as well. Uh, okay. I mean, I think we've already got Baratheon gauntlets, haven't we? So, that there's much difference in having that. 
Ah, so they're like lamella, but they're not quite textured, correct? All right, it's probably because of that, yeah. Okay. Should we go with the, like, bucket helm? 25. There's 25. Sod it. We'll go with that from now on, for now. Uh... Hound boots, why not? The better. I can't see us really finding more Chelsea. Oh, okay. It says that. Shoulders as well. Ah, okay. Okay. So what's that? 10 10 versus 10 0. So what we like without that? Yeah, I don't like the shoulder blade. Shoulders, like, compete. Whereas they sort of blend enough. Oh, so the Lannister King's Guard stuff is just red. Okay. Neck guard helm. Okay, so it's it's twenty head armor without without being a helm. It's kind of okay. Lion plate, lion body plate gloves. Oh, so it's it's body plate, which is gloves. Hmm, interesting. Yeah, I don't think we're going to be using that. Lord Bigsby's studded leather armor. Sort of frozen a little bit there. There we go. I mean, like, that's that's kind of nice, too, actually. But I think we're going to stick with the Templar for now. I don't want to spend all episode uh, trying on armor. So, into the smith. Let's see. Any big spenders? Well, you've got a big spender on a 200 polo. We've got a 200 axe as well. Um, it's not enough swing damage. Not enough swing damage. This will be the best it is, then. Okay, well, he wants 93. That'll do. Five grand, we'll take it. It's fine. Uh, what about you? Pole arm. So. That'll do the job other than swing speed. What about if we... There you go. Ah, but that takes iron ore. Keep forgetting about that. Um, that's not enough swing cut damage for him. Ah, we've not got enough wood now. Hopefully there's some wood in the Dreadfort. You'd you'd like to think there is. There we go. Okay. Let's see if we can get some big money out of this. Should have swing damage. Okay. Well, we don't have another choice other than the long glaive heads. We will chuck a few bits on here as well, just to just to make sure they know it's fancy. Uh, yeah, we'll go with that one, I think. So we need one charcoal, and we can forge it. 72 grand, very, very nice indeed. Happy with that. So that's pretty much, pretty much blown everything wide open. I need to make a better sword for myself, I think. So, let's have a look. What's the best blade I can make? Still a Reaper blade. You've got the Reaper or Dragon Hunter. Uh, what's that? Dragon Hunter blade. They're the short blades. Yeah, so nothing great there. I think the, I think the Reaper blade is probably the nicest looking there. It's quite long as well. I think we'll go with like a black steel. They're two under blades. We don't need that. Maybe we'll maybe we'll change to gold then, if that's going to be gold trimmed. What the gold stuff we got? Kingslayer pommel? No. Is that a lion? Looks like a lion. Yeah, we're not going to use the lion. 
Ooh, that would be tasty, wouldn't it? If we had that on lots. Braided pommel. Okay, I think we're just going to go for uh, for that simple one there. And that'll do us. Uh, so we need five Thamaskeen. It is difficulty 250, but that's okay. So it's uh, reach 115, swing speed 85. It's kind of slow, but we'll we'll let it be what it is. Swing speed didn't get a decrease though. That's fine. Thrust speed's not a big deal. Bit of damage loss is is all right. Reaper man's will be the name of this one. It's not the it's not the final final job, so. Let's have a look how much... Oh, Reaper Man's is worth 100 grand. There you go. So we could just completely overuse the system if we wanted. Um, but actually... Seems a lot worse. I mean, I, I don't know when the like stats actually apply to it, but maybe they maybe they do already apply. We're gonna give it a try on the battlefield anyway uh, before we kick off. Oh, exceptional Eastern Glaive sounds pretty tasty. But hey, uh, we're you know we're most of the way through an episode here now, and I've not done much fighting, so let's get on with that. But you've got to check out the the mod specific stuff as well, aren't you? Probably. Oh no, I hadn't unlocked that yet, so that's fine. I was gonna say probably should have done that first, but. Take, uh, I meant to take a point in tactics. Doesn't really do that much for us, I don't think, but it is what it is. Gonna be unlocking parts for days. Okay, we've got another tournament in uh, Winter Winterfell afterward. So here's my new blade. <gasps> I mean, this one is is considerably quicker in it, but this is longer. I mean, I reckon if we made this one shorter, it might be better. But to be honest, it might be better with this on the calf anyway, or on the horse anyway, just because it's longer. Um, and swing speed isn't the be all and end all in all scenarios. Like if you can just time it right, that's better than quick. Unlocked a hell of a lot of parts. I don't think I've ever unlocked so many parts in one go. Yep, yeah, the speed threw me off there. My stroke did not fall as soon as I might have liked. There you go. Yep, yeah, scrap. Scrap. So we're going to get rid of that other one, I think. We're, we'll just try it out here. Yeah, that's rubbish. Yep. Yep. The other one will do a far better job. So if we make another one, we maybe make it a bit shorter than that. Oh, right, you nearly got caught in the crossfire there, mate. Go on, I'll let you, I'll let you beat him up. <laughs> good work, lads. That's a strat. Oh, and I got the borrowed troops some XP as well. That's good. And that's what we needed. Oh, bumper cars with a horse. There we go. Yeah, the, the heart spin seems a lot better. So, uh, yeah, we'll get rid of Reaper Man's, sell it on to the uh, to the Winterfell Trading Post. They've got no money, so we're not going to give it to them. But I'm going to smelt them when I can. Well, we'll wait. We'll wait until tomorrow, and then we will smelt and then do the tournament. Seems like a fine job. Whilst uh, Ned moves out towards Mandalay with Caitlin. Thousand troops between them. Looking good. Ah, I've run out of wood as well. You got any wood here? Have you got any wood, Mr. Winterfell? You got one wood. Well, I'll take that. And then we will do the tournament. I can't understand why Winterfell's got zero cash. Uh, well, we're not really interested in winning these gloves, but that's okay. Oh, wow. Oh, scumbag. Did me in. Well, yeah, I asked for that one. That was poor play. 
That's all right. We can go and buy some wood from Alamat. Because they love us up here. They'll give us a good discount, I'm sure. And we've just seen some more... Ne'er-do-wells. 100 wood. That's plenty of wood for now, then. And we'll get in here and then go over to Last Hearth. See if they've got any cash to buy this sword off me. Move to our cover on my flank! We'll wait for the uh, we'll wait for the main force to get involved here now. It's annoying when I've said follow me that when I charge off at full speed, you don't follow me at full speed. But then when I'm charge when I'm just riding slowly, you feel the need to run ahead. I'll uh, I'll not take it as descent, but if you carry on, I will execute you. Proper one slice Ned Stark style. Charge him in. Oh, well, I asked for that stab. He could have got me with it. Come on, boys. Smack him while they're coming past. Come on, I'll slow him down again for you. You know what? I'll just kill him. Yeah, my sword arm needs improving, though, to some degree, at the very least. I don't know why they're, like, taking so little damage. I feel like they must have armor up. Um, which is fine. But, like, if they're typical looters, they otherwise wouldn't. I think I was meant to uh, send me Northern Bastards a different way there. We know the bastards go that way. Yeah, we'll take another Star Horseman. There we go. We've got a decent cav force now. So uh, this wandering couple of groups are going to get ridden down by the horses now. Kill them all! So what is it, like 10? Order! 11. 11's fine. I, th I don't know if that includes me, though. I need to get a better horse. I don't know if they're on like step horses or what, but this is not the fastest horse. Maybe they're on war horses. Nope, well, that's a whiff. That second one always makes me laugh. Yeah, it's like a proper like thrusting weapon, despite it being like a really broad blade. It, it seems to do more on the stabs than the swings. Which you wouldn't expect for a sword of that sort of dimension. Attack! Are we still King in the North in? This is a new fight, boys. Stop with the King in the North in. <laughs> like, I wonder if it'll finish by the time they start saying it again this time. Okay, so it appears I got the lead on them this time, so we'll just peel back a little bit. Obviously, I am the one that counts. I'm also the one that knocks, in case you're interested. Nice. That headshot. Before I got caught up by my own mans. Yeah, I was trying to do it with that alt camera on, but it's really hard to do that. Well, another one of the troops died. Hopefully, if uh, if one of them get get to hit, then they're all ready to go home. Yeah, I was. I thought he was dead there. Like how? How is that only fifty-one damage? I felt like that went right through his head. There you go. That'll do. 110 on the one handed now, we're getting there with it. We're just gonna send the fellas in on them. Like I think we fought them enough to prove we would have we would have done them either way. There we go. I'm not gonna do it that often, but I'll do it every now and again. Seems like a fair deal. Couple more swords to Smith down. It's welcome. So we will get in here, see what orders we've got. We need to do a little bit of uh, a little bit of charcoal up first before we do anything else. Uh, 
I mean, there's a few people wanting to spend money here. It's, it's not really big money, but it's some money. So he does want a thrusting sword. Basically wants a fine steel bad man without the cost. Is what it seems like to me. What's that made of? Fine steel saber. You, you're not having a thrusting sword, mate. You're having that. I don't care what you want. Nice little square guard. Put you that on it. And one of them. That looks quite sabery. That looks legit. All oh, right, it's no longer it's no longer all the things he wanted though. Never mind. Three grand though, I'll take it. It's not a terrible guard. Not the nicest either, granted. But throwing axes. We can now make throwing axes. We can make you the uh, what they called. Oh no, that's Francisca heads. I thought they were Franciscas. There we go. He's happy with that. Wait, he wants them. He wants them lighter. Well, I mean, I can't have it light and long. Oh, well. All right, I can. Just have a smaller axe on it. I don't know what you were upset about, mate. It met, you, it met your standards, so piss off. Oh, wow, look at that. It's uh, pretty much a katana, isn't it? It's the fine steel scimitar blade. That'll give you a better swing speed, will it? I mean, this looks garbage, to be honest. I like, I'll just chuck whatever on it for you. Uh, what do we need? Fourth, I'm a skiing. Alright, it's like that, is it? Two grand, it's not even worth the Thamaskeen for that. I'm not I'm not putting Thamaskeen into cheap cheap ones anymore. Um I mean we're doing alright for cash anyway. It doesn't seem like there's anything to really spend money on in this uh, mod. Like none of the armor seems very expensive. Like yeah, I mean like uh, that stuff all feels really cheap as well. And there's nothing wrong with that, but it kind of defeats the object of having the money really. Take uh don't really think we need 50, to be honest. Take 20. And we'll get them smart down. So, we'll rest up here. Uh, we'll do one more fight. It's going to be a longer than normal episode, but we'll do one more fight after this. And uh, that should see us through. But we are making some headway. We're getting to the point where we can do some hideouts, I think. That'll be fun. Okay, well, we found a nice band there, so we'll get, get smelted what we can. That'll do. So we're not actually at a massive advantage here. Just got a penalty, why not? And not that cash is a big deal, but... So we shall fight them. And we'll fight them hard. Onward! Have a follow me! So we're going to bring the cab around. actually use our tactical acumen this time. Yeah, I thought they might be coming up there, that's fine. Well, they shouldn't be able to follow us down here so quick. But we're gonna we're gonna run around and come up the back. Go, my men. Go, go, go. That's it. You've been Battle of the Bastards now, Sunny Jim. Well, they've bottled it entirely. I don't look like any of them even really got killed before they bottled it. The King of the North isn't here. He had nothing to do with it. Cheer for me, you bastards. Wow, 
Wow, he just got like absolutely mullered. Flopped down the hill by the boss. Like, how did that swing do 12? Like, and that 34. Like, their armor must be better than it looks like it is. Seven more prisoners, so at least we can give some villagers the uh, required uh, manual laborers, if needed. I'll go for one more horseman, I think, there. I don't want to put all my Stark infantry into being uh, horsemen. Send the troops there. I don't think any more will particularly get hurt. Okay, let's take that. More shields we don't need. And uh, we'll quickly head up to the old Castle Black. Where are we on... What were they? House guards. Is that... That is our first house guard. Um, I'm going to move these up. Hopefully... Hopefully he doesn't die, but he is top tier. Um, they're not quite as cool as I'd have thought they might be, but it's okay. Uh, so when we've got five to ten of them, we'll start doing hideouts. Hmm. They've got no money. Great. Why does none of the towns have any money? Is it because they're paying me for the smithing stuff? Is that where that comes from? I don't think it is. Surely not. Literally, though, nowhere has any money. I don't, I, I don't know how these towns can operate with no cash. Let's just try once more. Car hold. So, like, trading has been massively nerfed. Because nobody's got any money. Um, I will just spend the last bit of this episode heading. Uh, let's let's try White Har Harbor. We'll we'll head to White Harbor and then that'll be that. But I just want to check if like if everywhere's got no money or if just these areas have. Because there's been quite a lot of conflict in these areas, I think, between Ned Stark and that. So maybe that's why. And like there's a monetary penalty for sieging. But like I've never noticed that in the base game, so I don't know if that's something to do with the mod. And it's not the end of the world if they've not got any money, but it does mean that we're basically just going to be binning. Okay, these guys have got money. Okay, that's fine. 60 shields. Wow. It's a bit excessive. Um, I'm going to take all your horses, mate. And I'm going to equip a step horse because I just prefer them. Uh. I'm going to equip one of them for the time being as well. We'll take them a half guard and just keep the horse a bit safer. Feels like a good expenditure of the cash. Uh, Lycons, they need the war horses, apparently, to level up. To become wolf guard. Uh, I mean, they look pretty cool, but I don't think red is. And they are wearing Kingsguard armor and Kingsguard helms, despite being of the north. I don't know. It just, it just seems a little bit odd, that. They can get upgraded to start calf. Hey, the borrowed troops are done. Brilliant. They can go home then. All right, we're not doing that again for a while. Well, that's enough for this episode. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time in the Underhive.